Kingdom of Fire has gutted the St. Peter's Minor Seminary in Kagarko, local government area of Kaduna State. The fire, which lasted several hours, destroyed five academic blocks of classrooms, hostel buildings, and science laboratory. The rector of the school, Reverend Father Sati Edward, was on the sport assessment tour of the facilities, said to course. The cause of the fire has not yet been ascertained. He, however, called on well-meaning Nigerians for assistance to ensure the school is renovated. Uh, around um, 12 noon, I got a call that the hostels and the seminary were on fire. So immediately, I put a call to that bishop to let him know. Actually, at that, at that time, I was in Kaduna because I was here by 10.30 a.m. I left, and uh, when they put that call, we had to, had to rush back. When I came back, I met the flame. The youths in the town were here already. They made their efforts to make sure they put out the flame, but uh, the fire was beyond what they could do anything to. And uh, the fire had this easy access uh, because of um, the issue of insecurity. For over two years now, the students have not been here. So the place has been alone, lonely and empty for two years. Uh, we cannot do this alone. We will need uh, the support of uh, men and women of goodwill organizations who care about the education of our children, the education of our youth, who care about the tomorrow of Nigeria. To please come to our aid, to I, I appeal to them passionately to help us make sure that this place comes back on board. By the time the insecurity has been taken care of, our children will come back and we'll continue the good work we have been doing here. It's like we are running from frying pan to fire. Mm -hmm. uh, that we have actually run from the fire into frying pan, I don't know. We didn't want our kids, our students, children, carried into the bush and the threats were high. And that's why we had to relocate our children to other seminaries in the state, Zaria and Kevin Chan. Thank God they are saved. They are okay where they are. Some have graduated. But then we are visited by this other trauma. Definitely the destruction is enormous. We've been able to save ourselves from destruction of lives, a trauma on parents and so on. But we are narrowed down to this destruction of uh, property, of structures, and we are worried. It is indeed a huge loss, a huge loss. Uh, we thank God that no life was lost, and we thank God that um, students, we are not here when the incident happened, uh, but we have lost so many things. Mm. A lot of uh, laboratory equipment were all burnt down. Um, there are hostel beds, mattresses, and fans, and a lot of things. Mm. We, we have lost so many things, and um, we are appealing to well-meaning Nigerians, not just Christians, not just Catholics, but well-meaning Nigerians, and even the state government and the federal government, to actually um, all those who um, wish and also support education in this country to see what they can do in order to bring back uh, this place to uh, have food to us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.